Welcome back to Hackcode. In this video, we'll explore how to solve the problem of finding the longest substring without repeating characters. This problem is a common question and can be efficiently solved using the two popular approaches, the sliding window technique and the hash map method. We'll break down each approach with clear examples, code and detailed explanation. Let's dive in. So given a string, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So what is substring? A substring is a continuous non-empty sequence of characters within a string. So if you take the string as this one, the substring can be like ABC, ABCA, like that. And a subsequence is like we can skip the characters in between, but the order should be same. So we can take ACA, then that is a subsequence. So here in example one, we have the output is three because uh, we have the longest substring without repeating characters is three. Apart from uh, the, this length three, we don't find uh, if we take length four, we have A is repeating. So in any other window, we, we have the repeating characters. So that's why output is three. Similar in example two, the output is one because all B's only uh, one is a uh, unique character in this. In example three, uh, we find WKE as a longest uh, substring without repeating characters. So this is something we discussed about the subsequence. So the constraints here are, uh, the length of the string lies in the included range of zero to five to 10 power. The string consists of English letters, digits, symbols, and spaces. So this is the initial code given. Let's dive into the approaches. So approach one, sliding window technique. So algorithm is here, uh, we insert the two pointers, start with the two pointers left and right, both at the beginning of the string, and then we utilize a hash set. So utilize a hash set to keep track of the characters in the current window of the substring. And then we expand the window. So move the right pointer to handle uh, the new characters in the window. And then we should check for the repeats. So if the character at the right is already in the set, move the left pointer to the right until the duplicate character is removed. So next we have to update the maximum length. So continuously update the maximum length of this of the substring uh, whenever a longer valid substring is found. So let's look at the flowchart for same. So here, uh, so at the short, we are checking if the right pointer is within the bounds. If as we add a character to, uh, at the right to the set and then uh, we check if the character is already present in the set. If no, we update the max length and we increment the right pointer and we continue here. So after that, like if we have uh, the character already in the set, then uh, we remove the character at the left from the set and then we increment the left pointer. So let's open the tyrant here. So this is the given string and then uh, we, we initialize the left and right pointer to zero as we discussed. And then uh, actually we check if the character at the right pointer is not in the set. If it is not in the set, we add to the set. So here we add A to the set. And then next thing we do is we calculate the max length. So max length formula is max length is equal to max of max length comma right minus left plus one. Here right and left are the indices. So from indices we convert into length, that, that's why we're adding plus one. So for instance, the indices can start at zero, but length never gives zero, that's why. The length is one at this point. So, and then uh, we, uh, we increment the right pointer. So we make it one here. After that, uh, we move our, uh, since our right is one now, so we, we are having the next iteration uh, where we check for the P. So if B is the set, no, it's not the set. So we add the set. And then what we do next is, uh, as we have guessed, like we update the max length. So here the max length is now two. And then uh, the right is now two because we update the right, right? And then uh, next iteration uh, we have is C. So here we add the C to the set. So, and after that we calculate the max length, which is three now. And similarly, you have guessed the right uh, increment. So that is three now. So now the pointer moves to A. So now something different happens. Since the A is already in the set, we remove the leftmost character. So that is a sub left or string of left. So left is at zero. So that is we remove the string of zero, which is A. So the set becomes B and C. And then uh, we increment the left pointer. Now left is one. Next iteration, we have right at the third index. And then similarly here, we check if uh, A exists in the set. A is not in the set, so that's why we add A to the set. Uh, and then we calculate the max length. It would be three still. So, and then uh, the next step is to update the right pointer, which is four now. So now for the next iteration, we will check for the character B. So here, but B is already in the set, right? So as you have guessed, what we do now, we remove the leftmost character. So string of left, that is one, uh, so are they for index one. So what is the index one? B. So we remove B from the set. And then we increment the left pointer. So left is at now two. So on the next iteration, we have again B uh, in the place, right? Because right pointer is never changed. Since B is not in the uh, set, we add B to the set. And now uh, we update the max length, but it would be three. 
so now uh, we have to increment the right pointer which would be 5 now so next iteration what we have is c but c is there in the set so what we do we remove the leftmost character so here uh, left is at 2 0 1 2 so we have to remove c from the set and then uh, we update the max length so but the max length would be 3 here again and after that we have to increment the left pointer so left becomes 3 now so in the next iteration also we have c in place so we check if c is in the set so no we, we don't have c right so that's why uh, we will add c to the set and then we, we have try to update the max length which is 3 now uh, and then we increment the right pointer so we will be having b in place now so in this iteration uh, we have b in the set so that's why uh, we, we remove the leftmost uh, character from the set so what is s of 3 so 0 1 2 3 right we have to remove a we removed a and then uh, here uh, we increment the left pointer which is 4 now so we have uh, of this iteration is completed and the next iteration also we have b uh, here so but b is in the set so what we do now so we remove the s of 4 what is s of 4 0 1 2 3 4 b so we remove b from the set and i try to update the max length but max length would remain 3 now uh, the left became 5 because we incremented so in the next iteration uh, we have still we are at b and then uh, we check if b is in the set it's not there so that's why we add the set and then we try to update the max length which is 3 now so after that we update the right which is 7 so now uh, we are uh, b lost character which is b and then we check if b is in the set uh, so if it, it is there right so that's why we remove the uh, s of 5 what is s of 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 so we remove c from the set and then uh, we increment the left pointer so in the next equation we still have b in the set so we should remove s of 6 what is s of 6 as i have guessed it is b and then we increment the left pointer so in the next iteration we are at b and then we check if it be in the set it's not in the set right we add b to the set and then uh, we have the update we try to update the max length but the max length remains same and then uh, we increment the right which would be 8 now so for the next iteration the right is not less than the length of the string because right is equal to 8 and length of the string is 8 so that's why we break out of the loop and then we have the max length is 3 that's why we return 3 so let's look into the code now so here as we discussed we initialize the left and the right pointer to 0 and the max length also to 0 and we initialize the cache set also to empty set so we have the check right is less than the length of the string and then in the loop firstly we check uh, first of right is not in the character set if it is not in the character set as we discussed we add to the character set and then we try to update the max length so max length is uh, max of max length comma right minus left plus one this we know and then we increment the right pointer so in the case where uh, s of right in the character set we rem remove the leftmost element from the character set so that's why we do car set dot remove and we pass the s of left and then we increment the left pointer so at the end we return the max length so, so complex analysis so here time complex is o of n where n is the length of the string the space complex is o of min of n comma m where m is the size of the character set in this case it is the space for the hash set approach to hash map method so here uh, we start with initialization step so we use a hash map to store the lost index of the each character and then we use a variable called start to track the starting index of the current window and then we use another variable called max length to keep track of the maximum length of the substring without repeating characters and then next step is iteration so for each character in the string if it is already in the current window update the start index to be one position after its last occurrence so next is update index so here we update the character's loss in index in the hash map to the current position and then we calculate the length so we calculate the length of the current window and update the max length if it is greater than the previous maximum length So let's look at the flowchart for same. So here we start with the installation step only. So we start da uh, initializing data structures and counters. So here the data structure is map and the counter is our start and the max length variable. And then we iterate to the each character in the string. So we check if the character is already encountered in the current window. If S, we check if the lost occurrence is after or at the current start position. So if this holds true, then we update the start position to one after the last occurrence. If this is not true, we continue without updating the start position because we don't need to shrink the window, right? If it is not true. And then here, so if the character is not already encountered in the current window, we skip this step, we directly come to here. And then here, 
So after this step, we record the current character's position and then we update the maximum length of the substring. After that, we check if it is the end of the string. If s, we return the maximum length of the substring. If no, we iterate the each character in the string again. So let's look at the diagram for same. So here, this is the given string and then we have uh, initialized all the variables here. So in the first iteration, i would be 0 and the ma hash map is empty map and uh, here the start is 0 and max length is 0. Uh, so here, uh, how do we calculate the max length? The formula is max of max length comma i minus short plus 1. Uh, if we compare the previous approach, here the left is the start and then right is the i. You already know why we are doing plus 1 here, right? So yeah, let's continue. So in the first iteration, we have i is equal to 0 and then uh, first check we do is, you know, right? Uh, we check if the character is in the current window. So it is not even in the map, so it won't never be in the current window. So we just add the character occurrence to the map and then we don't update the start here. Start would be 0 and then the max length we update because uh, here the length is increased, right? so it is 1. Uh, we get this using this formula, max length is equal to max length comma i minus short plus 1. So here max length is equal to max of 0 and i is uh, 0 minus start is 0 plus 1 is 1. So here we have max length is equal to 1. And then in the next iteration, we have i is equal to 1. So let's update i is here. So and then uh, we check if b is in the current window. So it is not in the current window. So we update the occurrence of the b in the map. And then uh, here we don't need to update the start since b is not in the current window. We update the max length. Now max length is 2. So in the next iteration, uh, the i is 2. So let's see. So we put i is equal to 2. And then let's add the entry into the map because the C is not there here. Sorry, here B should be 1. So here C should be 2. This is essentially an index, right? So basically. So here, so now we need to update the max length. So which is 3. So in the next iteration, we are at the index 3. So I is equal to 3. And then uh, here we check if A is already there in the current window. It is there in the current window, right? Because uh, the loss occurrence of the A is greater than or equal to the start. So that's why we have to update the start to next after the A. So we make start to 1 and then we have to update the loss occurrence of the A. So that's why we keep uh, A is equal to 3 here in the map. So and the max length remains same here, 3. And the next iteration, we have I is equal to 4. And then we check if a B is already in the current window. It is there in the current window, right? Because the index 1 is greater than or equal to start. So that's why we need to update the start to be just after the B and then we need to update the B's index as well. So B's index here is 4. And in the next iteration, I is 5. So here we are at C now. So we check if C is already in the current window. It is there in the current window, right? Because the 2 is greater than or equal to start. So that's why we need to update the start to be just right after the C, that is 3 here. And then the C becomes uh, the latest index of the C. So here, which is a 5. So here we are at 6 index. So now we check if B is already there in the current window. It is there in the current window, right? Because B's index is greater than or equal to start. So that's why we update the start to be just right after the B. So we make it 5. And we, we try to update the max length. So but here the max length still remains 3. And then we move on to the next character. So here the i is equal to 7. So B's index would be 7 here. Uh, we don't need to update the start because it is uh, B is not in the current window uh, and then uh, we try to update the max length but max length would remain 3. Why 3? Because like it's uh, max uh, max length is max of max length comma i minus start plus 1. So what is i 7 minus start what is start 5? So 7 minus 5 which is 2 plus 1 is 3 so it's still 3. So in the next iteration uh, we reach i is equal to 8 but it is greater than the length of the string that's why we exit the loop and we return the max length which is 3. So let's look at the code for same. So here we initialize the character map start and max length as we discussed and then we just using the enumerate here because we want the index and character. So for each character we are checking if character is already in the hash map and uh, because we need to check this because we need to uh, check if character is in the current window. How do we check that? Uh, we take the index uh, of the character which is a character map of char and then uh, greater than equal to start. So start is one which uh, takes care of our uh, starting window like it holds a position where our window starts. So if this holds true, then only the character would be in our current window. Then only we need to update the uh, start because the 
we don't need the duplicates here that's why so what are we doing here we are putting start to character map of car plus one so that is just we are updating it to uh, the index right after the uh, duplicate character is found this is just to kick the duplicate character out of the current window and then we update the uh, character map uh, to hold the current position of the character so we're doing character map of car disco to i and then uh, we update the max length using the formula max of max length comma i minus start plus one at the end we return the max length so so complex analysis here the time complex is of n where n is the length of the string so each character is processed only once and the space complexity is of n of n comma m where m is size of the character set in this case it's a space for the hash map so demo on conclusion i got the code ready here let's try submitting them so we define the two methods for each of the approach so let's try submitting the first approach using the sliding window so submit this So yeah, it beats 26%. And then let's try submitting the hash map approach. It beats 72% almost. But I have seen it reaching more than that. Let's see that where it is. So here, this one, right? This is accepted solution. So here we see that it beats almost 95%. This was the same approach, but at that time uh, the server was not so busy. That's why it was beat. So don't consider uh, the be uh, how much percent is beats. Like it depends on how much user lo load on the server. But if the solution is accepted, it's well and good. Conclusion: Both approaches efficiently solve the problem of finding the longest substring without repeating characters. The sliding window technique is intuitive and uses the hash set to dynamically change the current substring, where the hash map method leverages a dictionary to track the latest occurrence of the characters and adjusts the window accordingly. So choose the approach that best fits your needs based on the simplicity or the specific constraints of the problem. Thank you for tuning to this episode of Hack Code. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and bonus tips. If you have any questions or suggestions for the future topics, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding.